to the day in my life. So I always pre-set up my clothes the night before because it's so early. So I just get up and I just grab my clothes and get ready to go. Pre-make my breakfast as well and pre-pack my lunch. We normally wear blue scrubs, so we both have our scrubs on. But this week is Spirit Week, so we have um, Rockstar Day, so we wear our favorite concert t-shirt. That's mine, by the way. Yeah, not mine. And I have Kenny Chesney on, so. And we got a gate belt. So it's now 9.45, and I just got off um, my 15-minute break for the morning. And so I'm going back down the hall, and obviously I can't take you down there because HIPAA. But got everyone up this morning, got everyone fed. Um, so now we have activities soon, and then I'll be going on lunch at probably 11 or 11.30. So it's the day is going, and we're having fun. Sandy, can you pick up the phone call holding on line one? It's now 11.40, and I'm on my lunch break, and we got... Someone donated a bunch of like healthy lemonade thing drinks to. All right, it's two fifteen, two twenty. Now we're free, right? Oh. And it's so nice. <laughs> Olivia, <laughs> if you could describe your job in one sentence, what would it be? We're I'm like a waitress for old people, and yet I not only cater to their every needs, I also cater to their every bodily function. We're, malfunction. We're certified nursing nurses, nursing assistants. Certified nursing assist nurse. I don't know. We get there at six. And then we wake everyone up. We change everyone. We get everyone dressed, and then we have breakfast. So we tr pass a bunch of trays, and then we feed people. Then after that, we change more people, shower people, and then it comes lunchtime. Pass trays, feed people, and then change people, lay people down, yep. all while doing a bunch of other things as well. So we get our 10,000 steps in really easy. We're, we're essential workers too, so we're grateful to work in this crisis that we're in. I am not grateful to work in this crisis. It these, takes a lot of patience. These people are a lot driving of kindness. me to drink. Olivia doesn't have any patience or kindness left from today. No, I do not. Steve just said. To warm up my workout, I, at school I normally do like elliptical or the stair climber or a treadmill, but when I'm home, I do dance workouts. Take it. Take it. Love it. Love it. After work or before work, if I work second shift, I'll come down here to my rack and I'll work out. Or if it's nice outside, I'll take my dumbbells outside like I just did. Do it out there just to get some extra vitamin D working inside all day. I don't get any, so. It's about 5 o'clock now and I a lot of times make dinner for my family. So tonight, I want to try and make meatballs and we have literally a ton of venison. So I'm going to do venison meatballs and I'm going to mix it with um, pork. So they're going to be venison and sausage meatballs. I literally don't know how to cut onions. So if someone does, please let me know because I'm unsure. I try to make a lot of um, meals and like different types of meals because I'm getting my wife's skills together. I think you can really like mess up meatballs because you just bake them. So... So while I'm waiting for that to start, I'm going to look at my email, check it, because we're still doing school, and if you go to Adrian or anywhere else, you know that we get like a bajillion emails a day, so I have to go through and filter through it all and see what I actually need. 
Um, and then after dinner, I'll do some of my homework because online classes and it's not fun. Quick shout out to my girl Liz. She eats these. Not sure why, but she does. They look pretty decent. Dinner what? is complete. There's the boys. <laughs> it's so beneficial during this time when you're at home or if you're still at school to have a set schedule. And my recommendation is to get up early. Even when I don't work first and I work second or I work later in the day, I always get up at 7 or 6.45. Get up earlier, try it. I mean, you're not losing anything but a few hours of sleep, and if you go to bed early, then you don't have that problem. Hi. So it is now about 6.45, and I'm outside enjoying the weather, doing my homework. I'll probably do it for an hour or two out here. Um, just trying to mark things off my list. Alright, so my mom just came home and our whole church family has been making my mom's masks because mom's on the front line. Yeah, mom. And yeah, honey. so I wanted to show everyone some of these masks that were made. Hold on, mom. Okay, this one. And these are her scrubs. Cute. Yeah, cute. Look at that. Look at that. No COVID here. No COVID. So right now it's almost 9 o'clock and I am done with my schoolwork for the day, but right now I'm doing planning for my Bible study. Um, me and my friend have a Bible study on Fridays, so I'm kind of looking um, at reference verses um, about prophecies and then I'm also trying to find my lesson that I'm going to do for Friday. But to end my day, I do... Um my devotional, and you can't see the title because I have a bunch of those sticky notes, but it's called Jesus Calling, and it is really, really good. If you are looking for a devotional, it's really good, and I also journal every day, um, so I've been journaling all year, and it's really, it's a really good idea because you get to put your days on paper, and you can go back and be like, Oh, on September 6th, I was doing this, and it's really cool to like look back and you get your feelings out on paper as well. From a 4.50 morning to a 10 o'clock night, thank you for following me along in my day as a CNA, and even though I can't show much because of HIPAA, and yeah, being a student online and having just a beautiful day to enjoy. Stay safe and stay healthy and stay distanced.